Good morning. This is Devin again, and I wanted to talk with you more about uh, my Orthophorus ornatus, or desert millipede, Edie. Um, so desert millipedes come from North America. They live in Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, and as far south as the states in central Mexico. And this little critter is about six inches long and eats mostly uh, detritus and vegetables and things. Now, in its natural habitat, it would probably eat things like choya cactus or creosote bush or ocotillo. Um, those are all desert plants. Um, and also it would feed on the bacteria in the soil. There's that little face. Um, it's hard to focus, but just behind the antenna in a place that you can't probably see very well um, because of the, the lighting in this room, there are these um, very tiny organs called uh, Tomasovary organs. And um, at this point in history, we still don't know 100% what it is that they do. There are theories that they might um, be able to sense vibration or light or humidity. And all those things kind of make sense. You know, you've got uh, this critter here that hangs out in the desert and most often comes out um, when it's damp out. But it also has another, you know, it's not, it's not truly 100% nocturnal or 100% diurnal. It will come out whenever the you know, whenever like it's perfect for it to come out. Um, we've seen it tooling around the cage at nighttime. We've seen it tooling around the cage during the daytime. It's, it's quite varied to be completely honest. Um, cool things about them, they breathe from spiracles that are located towards the undersides where their legs are. Um, millipede physio physiology is um, quite different from the way that, you know, human physiology is. Their heart, for example, runs the entire length of their body. Um, and and it's just so different. Like they have like this trachea instead of like a well-developed, um, you know, digestive and, um, trachea is not digestive, Devin. <laughs> Circulatory system. Um, and the other cool thing about them is like, as they grow, they just add little legs like how amazing is that that there's like this message inside this critter that says as you grow add more pairs of legs and and you know they start out as this kind of really short little pill shaped bug kind of looks like a pill bug and then they just keep growing and growing and growing and growing I think that's pretty awesome well that is about all I have to say except for you know this is something interesting I found out in the pet store, they told me that this little critter would live maybe two to four years in captivity. And when I looked it up online, it seems like this little critter could live up to 10 years in the wild. That may just makes me really sad. Like, if you think that the maximum lifespan of something in captivity is greater than in the wild, like, who told you that story? Is it because this little guy is going to get eaten by stuff? Because if you, if you think this little guy is going to get eaten by stuff, I'm sure it does. But, you know, it, it excretes some sorts of bright orange toxic substances that have things like terpenoids in it, which I think is really interesting. Because, you know, terpenoids, um, that's, like, that's like turpentine. You don't want to get that on you. Um, you know, and if you don't know what turpentine is, it's, it's a type of paint thinner that we mostly don't use in California. We want to use things that don't have volatile organic co compounds in them. Um, yeah, so secreting volatile organic co compounds allows this critter to, you know, remain more safe than it would because, you know, obviously, even though it has all these legs, it's not moving around real fast. Um, it's it's living deep in the soil. It's, uh, it's curling up into a ball and playing dead. And uh, as a defense mechanism, that, like, that's, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm curious to see how long these guys will live in a warm environment, in a humid environment, that is not completely dissimilar from where they come from. But, you know, that's my story for the day. Like the video if you like the video. If you don't like the video, don't like the video.
拜。